Hello, today I am going to demonstrate you the tumble square knot. This is one intracorporeal knot which is used for the tissue which is under tension. So you will take the suture from the half. First you will introduce your Maryland into the reducer. And then you will take the suture from the half so that needle should be hidden into the reducer. And you will hide the needle. Needle is endo -esky shape. So easily it will hide it. And then you will drop it into the abdominal cavity and here our suture is there and then you will drop it in such a way that the tip should be towards the left and tail should be towards the right and after that you will go with the partially open jaw and you will touch it by the upper jaw automatically it will become erect up Again I will show you, you have to go with the partially open jaw and press it up, it will erect up. And suppose this is myomectomy, suppose this is a tissue which is under the gap. Then I can approximate it by the tumble square knot. You will take a bite, turn the needle, hold, merry land, hold it, guard it, again transfer the needle. And suppose this is the another edge and there is a lot of a lot of traction in between so in those situation if you want to fill up this gap then surgeon's knot is not good you have to use tumble square knot one of the requirement of the tumble square knot that tail should be long and then tail should be two plus defect Suppose this defect is 2 and 2, 4 cm, then tail should be 6 cm long. And then you will make a C, keep the left hand instrument in the center, and right hand instrument will just rotate to make a wrap, and you will take just a half knot. And then take the tail, and make a half knot. But don't tie it, keep it loose. One precaution should be taken that knot should be towards the left side. Knot should not be towards the right side. This is wrong. This is right. This is wrong. So tail should not be pulled. If you will pull the tail, you go to jail. Because tail will lock. So tail should be loose. And needle end should be straight. And then you will make a again reverse C. This is a reverse C. And then this is the another half of the knot. After that you will just hold the tail. But don't pull the tail. Keep it loose here. And then this time left hand instrument will slide. And here this is the knot. Once the knot is there. Just let me take this tissue out. Yes. So this is the knot. And once the knot is there you will make it moderately tight and then pull these needle end this is called as tumbling and after tumbling now it is ready to slide you will hold it by the Maryland and you will slide it, it is sliding again you go nearer, again you slide again you go nearer, again you slide and it is, it is completely tight after that you will hold the tail and you will untumble it. Untumbling means making the knot again in a square shape. And then it is finally locked. So this is called as tumble square knot. Tumble word means lying straight. So you have to do tumbling and untumbling. By this tumbling and untumbling you can approximate the tissue which is in the great tension and this knot is very useful for myomectomy for birth suspension for sacrocolpopexy for duodenal perforation where the tissue is under tension 
and then you will cut it. So this is called as buttock sign. This is one buttock, this is another buttock. And you can see tissue has a lot of tension. I will show you once more time how to tie the tumble square knot. You will hold the needle and drop the needle in such a way that tip should be left and tail should be right. And then you will press by the upper jaw, it will get erect up. And here suppose I am taking one bite at this point. Turn the Maryland in this direction. Catch the tip. After that, guard the tissue. Take the needle out and immediately catch the needle. Don't drop it. Then they take the bite. Suppose I am taking far away this point. And I want to approximate these two edges. Now in those situations, surgeon's knot is not possible because there is a lot of gap over the tissue. So in those situations, you will tie tumble square knot. First requirement of the tumble square knot that tail should be 2 cm bigger than the defect. So if the defect is suppose 4 cm, tail should be 6 cm. This is this way you will measure. And after that you will make a shape of a C and this is one half knot taken. After taking half knot, you will catch the tail and you will keep it loose. You will not tight it. And take care that knot should be towards the left. It should not be towards the right. This is wrong. This is right. Because you have to slide the knot on that long end. After that, you will take the another half. Here, this is another half of the square knot. That has to be taken. Remember, whenever you take the knot, Ideally, needle should not be used to hold and you hold the tail. But take care that when it is a square, this is a square, the needle hand has to be pulled. And this is called as tumbling, means you will hold the needle end and you will straight it. This is called as tumbling. After tumbling, the knot is ready to slide. Just you hold it by the tip and slowly you will slide it. This is sliding now. And slowly you can pull the tissue as much as you want. And here it is tightened. If you want you can do further. And this is fully tight. After that you have to convert it into a square knot. And this is called as untumbling. And then finally you will lock it once more. And here this is the final lock. So this is tumble a square knot. This knot is particularly very useful for the tissue which you want to approximate and the tissue which is tension. This is called as buttock sign. This is one buttock, this is another buttock. So to obliterate the dead space in myomectomy or to approximate the edges of the duodenum, it is very useful. So this is tumble a square knot. And here, tissue under tension is approximated. So, thank you very much.